When you think of the most terrifying snake, what do you see? Probably a massive, unstoppable boa constrictor, right? The Titana boa fits that image perfectly. It was enormous, a top predator in its time, and its sheer size alone could strike fear into anyone. Titana boa was a beast like no other, reaching lengths of up to 50 feet and weighing about 2,500 pounds. It was the largest snake ever discovered, and it dominated the swampy rainforests of Paleocene Colombia. But what if I told you that this giant serpent, which lived around 60 million years ago in what is now Colombia, might not have been as scary as we think? With its immense strength, it could easily crush its prey, coiling around its victims and suffocating them with powerful constrictions. Titanoboa was the apex predator of its environment, thriving in the warm tropical climate. Now, if you ever came face to face with this snake, well, it'd be bad news for you. It could easily wrap itself around a full-grown crocodile or a large turtle, squeezing the life out of them before swallowing them whole. But here's the thing. Even with its terrifying size and strength, Titanoboa wasn't the mammal-hunting monster we think. Research into its skull and teeth structure reveals something surprising. Titanoboa was primarily a fish eater or a piscivore. Its skull and teeth were perfectly adapted for catching and consuming large fish, not mammals or reptiles as you might expect. Its home was a world of rivers and swamps, teeming with large fish like lungfish and giant catfish. These likely made up the bulk of its diet. Sure, Titanoboa was terrifying in its own right, but there were other prehistoric snakes that might have been even scarier. What was the true terror of the ancient world? This is a family of snakes that makes even the Titanoboa look tame. The Matsoidae. These snakes were not only massive, but had a brutal way of taking down their prey. Recent studies suggest they might have been even bigger than Titanoboa. The Matsoidae family dates back to about 98 million years ago during the Cretaceous period. The first known member of this family was found in Sudan from a single bone. These snakes were quick to spread across the globe, with species popping up in Europe, Asia, and Australia before the Cretaceous period ended. But what made them this way? The early Matsoidae snakes lived alongside dinosaurs, and to survive, they ate whatever they could find. Fossils show that some of these snakes even preyed on small dinosaurs. For example, a Matsoidae snake called Sanage was found coiled around a baby dinosaur, suggesting that dinosaur eggs and young were part of their diet. These early snakes weren't the top predators yet, but they were already showing the brutal traits that would define their family. Unlike modern snakes that swallow their prey whole, Matsoidae had more primitive skulls that weren't as flexible or wide. This meant they couldn't gulp down large prey in one go. Instead, they used their powerful muscles to constrict their prey and then tore it into bite-sized pieces with their teeth and jaws. Their method of feeding was similar to how eels twist and turn to shear off chunks of flesh, making their kills particularly gruesome. Were they one of the first gigantic snakes to ever exist? Maybe. As time went on, Matsoidae snakes just kept getting bigger and bigger, leading to the giant known as Matsoya. This massive serpent lived in India and Madagascar during the last days of the Cretaceous period. Indian specimens reached about 16 feet in length, while those from Madagascar could grow up to a whopping 26 feet. This made them as large as some of the biggest reticulated pythons we have today. But the question is, how did they manage to survive the dinosaur's extinction? Matsoya had a survival trick that made it even more impressive than the dinosaurs it lived alongside. Durability. This snake is one of the few creatures known to have survived the KT extinction event that wiped out the dinosaurs. Its ability to hide in hard to reach places and its super slow metabolism, which allowed it to go without food for up to a year, helped it survive. With the dinosaurs gone, Matsoya climbed to the top of the food chain, growing even larger and spreading to more areas. But how did they end up being as large as we remember it today? As the Earth warmed during the Eocene, Matsoya evolved into the largest member of the Matsoidae family, an unnamed giant that could potentially dethrone Titanoboa as the world's largest snake. This snake, found in India, grew to an estimated length of 40 to 50 feet and weighed around one ton. Unlike the Titanoboa, this serpent was mostly terrestrial. 
prowling around murky swamps and ambushing prey with its powerful constriction and razor-sharp teeth. Which part of the world were they most commonly found in? Australia became a prime location for the Matsoidae during the Cenozoic era. The continent's climate and diverse ecosystems allowed these snakes to thrive. Two standout members, Wanambi and Yerlunger, evolved during this time. Wanambi, which could reach up to 20 feet in length, was a land-dwelling predator that hunted marsupials and reptiles. Yerlunger, slightly smaller but just as formidable, also called Australia home showing the adaptability and resilience of the Matsoidae family. Matsoya, the namesake of its family, not only survived the catastrophic KT extinction, but also thrived in the post-dinosaur world. Fossils of this impressive snake have been found in various locations, showing its wide range of adaptability. What sets the Matsoidae family apart is their unique jaw structure. Unlike modern snakes, their jaws were less flexible. This meant they couldn't swallow large prey whole. Instead, they tore their prey into smaller, manageable pieces, a brutal feeding method that contributed to their terrifying reputation. One of the most fascinating aspects of the Matsoidae family is their evolutionary journey. Starting in the Cretaceous period, these snakes adapted to a variety of environments worldwide. Their fossils have been discovered in India, Madagascar, and Australia, showing their ability to survive and thrive in different climates and ecosystems. This adaptability was key to their survival, especially during times of significant environmental changes. By the time the Eocene Epoch rolled around, Matsoidae snakes had become the top predators in their environments. Their massive size and incredible strength made them powerful hunters, capable of taking down a wide range of prey. In South America, fossils suggest that Matsoya preyed on large mammals, crocodilians, and other reptiles. Their powerful constriction and brutal feeding techniques ensured they remained at the top of the food chain. One of the most fascinating discoveries with the Matsoidae family is the unnamed giant found in India. This snake, estimated to be between 40 to 50 feet long and weighing around one ton, could potentially dethrone Titanoboa as the largest snake ever known. Its sheer size and terrestrial lifestyle made it a dominant predator in its habitat. The discovery of this giant highlights the remarkable diversity and evolutionary success of the Matsoidae family. But what was the impact of the climate on their evolution? The Matsoidae family's survival and evolution were heavily influenced by changes in climate and environment. During the warmer Eocene period, these snakes thrived, growing larger and more dominant. But, as the earth started to cool, their large size became a disadvantage. The changing climate and new competitors eventually led to the decline of some of the biggest Matsoidae snakes. And there you have it. The Matsoidae family, prehistoric snakes that could have terrified the Titanoboa. From their brutal hunting methods to their impressive sizes and survival skills, these snakes were true terrors of the ancient world. If you enjoyed learning about these terrifying serpents, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more fascinating prehistoric content. Until next time, keep exploring the wonders of the ancient world.